Hello friends and welcome to Fey Earth, a magical world set in an alternate 19th century Earth, where every creature from folklore and fairy tale is real, have always been real, and lived alongside humanity. Join our adventurers as they explore a world of arcane mysteries and danger, where the new scientific and industrial age collides with an ancient world of fairy and magic. When last we left our heroes, the party had been given the task of helping out the owners of the brass mills in the village of Chervin, where they are currently staying. Some of the workers had been collapsing when they got near the furnaces in the brass mill, and when our party went to investigate, they discovered, quite oddly in fact, that some fire salamanders had moved into the space. These fey creatures are... Not unheard of, but they would be somewhat rarer in this part of Europe. They're generally found further south in the hotter Mediterranean climates. They are creatures that alchemists have talked about for centuries. Some saying they are born of flame, but they are creatures that very much love fire. And they had literally taken up their homes in the furnaces. The party fought these creatures. Very, very small, but very, very dangerous due to their poisonous breath. One of the party, Amanita, found it quite difficult and fell in battle more than once, but thankfully was healed by our gracious druid, Sylvia. Um, the party was rewarded for this with two gold each. Approximately two weeks' wages for anybody to be working in that brass mill, so a not inconsiderate sum of money. And they were also treated to an exquisite fine meal, also paid for by Monsieur Mollet in La Petite Auberge, the ho not hotel inn in which they are staying. So... We return to our party now, waking up the next morning, well rested. I'm up early to go to church. You get up. So I believe it was uh, Mina and Sylvia are sharing one room, yes? Yeah. And Gwyn, Justine, and Amanita are sharing there. Mm -hmm. Aminata. So, sorry, Aminata is the other room, okay? Yeah. So, uh, Mina, you get up and you put on your nice dress to head out for morning prayer before breaking your fast. Yeah. Sylvia just... Again. Sleeps. <laughs> you went yesterday. Yeah, but like when we travel, I am not able to go. So I, I take the opportunity when I'm somewhere where I can go. You go every day? If I'm like usually, yeah. If I'm if I'm like with my family, we go every day. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, I'll see you later. Okay, I'm probably going to go to the forest to look for more. To look for cool. What time else. do you think of going? Um... Gwyn said that she wanted to go, and so did Justine, so, hmm, have a talk to them. How, okay. How long are you going to be praying? Oh, well, we finished for breakfast, so I'll, I'll meet you guys. Ah, okay. Well, yeah. Have I might tackle along, we'll see, see yeah. how it goes. Yeah, you know, maybe it could be good, because... Me and Albert, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. okay. I'll see you later. Have fun. Bye. I'm just, I'm just gonna roll over. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so, um, Gwyn and you see, when you wake up, mm -hmm. you both spot that your friend is not there. Okay. And you spot a well, looks like a piece of paper with your name on the on the on the cover of it, left on the pillow beside you. Okay. Um, opening it up, it's a short letter. It says, My dear friend, fear not, for I have not been abducted, but alas, I have been summoned and duty calls. I promise you, I will return shortly to join you on your quest to find your brother, pass on my regards and apologies for the abruptness of my leave to the others. Please tell them not to fret. Yours sincerely, A. A. Moreau. Now, you've never seen this happen. This has not happened before. But you do recognize this is definitely her handwriting. So, like... Uh, okay, okay. you got for a moment <laughs> there is, something that happened to her. This is very suspicious. Oh, Has she been taken away on business like this before? No, never. You don't even know what her business is. Yeah, I don't I don't even know what her business oh. is. Like, I only met her a couple of times before. And we just went along for a while. Yeah, like you know that her family are from money. You're not sure how much money in Paris that you. Her family have that something you think to do with politics, but that's about all you really know. You're not you. 
you never really ask and she's never really clearly explained. So, yeah. A scandal. <laughs> Well, now that you mentioned it, I don't think it came up yesterday, actually. When, no, I don't. What she does, so I'm. Um, well, mm. I hope she's okay, and I, I guess we'll stay here until she comes. Um, back. All her belongings are gone, so it clearly wasn't okay. some abrupt, okay. like okay. running gotcha. out in the night. Okay. All of her belongings are gone with her. Oh wow! Okay. So okay, she obviously slipped out quite stealthily, okay. um, but wasn't like there's no sign of any struggle. It's not. With no, there's no sign stuff? of. No sign Fair of her. Yeah. Play. Wow. If you didn't even wake up, that's amazing. Out cold. It was out cold. <laughs> <laughs> it was out cold. Might, have been, might have been the fumes. Might have been the alcohol. Food coma. <laughs> might have been food coma. And also after she like died three times last night. Yeah. So. Well, that's it. I was I was concerned enough about her. But, I mean, if she was well enough to get up in the middle of the night and pack and go, I suppose she'd she's be okay. Well, I mean, thankfully, Sylvia <laughs> did um, use her healing magic. That's right. Yeah, her... That's her um, healing words of support. That's very useful. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> very useful skill. I'm a ray of fucking yeah. sunshine. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think Gwen is just going to spend some time looking over her book of shadows before she meets Sylvie. Yeah, cool. So you spend a bit of time checking over your book of shadows and you eventually head down for breakfast, yes? Lovely. Has Sylvia gotten up yet? Yeah, she's up. Get up. Go downstairs. Yep. Traditional French breakfast. Mm-hmm. Uh, bread. Uh, croissant. Um, you know, <laughs> it's traditional French breakfast. So it's croissant and it's Delicious. either coffee or hot chocolate. Mm. I like it here. <laughs> or cigarettes. <laughs> Maybe in another 20 years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, actually, that yeah, is true, Gwen, because the, like, you have, of course, been getting used to the continental breakfast. Mm-hmm. You've seen, this is like... You're, yeah, yeah. For you, it's like basically the same thing. You this know, is a whole new world yeah, yeah. For me. Like for Sylvia, it'd be, yeah, you'd have it'd be ham as well. It'd like. be you'd have you'd be having ham and cheese mm. on bread instead of instead of sweet croissant. But yeah. it's like for you, it's like yeah, bread and coffee is fairly typical yeah. mainland breakfast. Mm. But whereas you're used to like oats porridge. and porridge or like. Yeah. If it's like a special day, maybe a fry or something. Mm, I'm so. not sure Kellogg's has, his, has made his invention oh, at that <laughs> ear quite yet. No, like, no, I don't no. think so. Oh, that's something the audience <laughs> I have can to look, look into this. Yeah. 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 not impressed with the chocolate though. No. Oh, she was oh, very oh, nervous. Nice. Oh, Bruce Gwynn is like used to find your the whole time. Yes. <laughs> like, high Absolutely, high. you're like no. Sylvia hasn't had chocolate in, in quite some time, so she's kind of oh. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah. You just going to give silver hers because and you gotta, you she get, you like just, you'll just ask for a coffee instead. Yeah, yeah. sure. Of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you, you get a coffee instead because, please, this isn't real chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> this is provincial. Like, like you know, bitch, like, like, yeah. unless I'm in Switzerland, it's just going to be inferior if it's outside mm. my country. <laughs> Chris from Cornwall. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but it's chocolate. <laughs> Sorry this to all the like corn. <laughs> so Sylvia yeah. just hasn't had it in a very long, long time. time. No. So mm. Yeah, you're uh, you were lived like a hippie in the forest and drank nettle tea or some shit. <laughs> I like nettle, nettle tea. <laughs> is very good for you. I like nettle tea. Yes. Yeah, so you full of vitamin C. <laughs> <laughs> Who's not going to get sick? I stroke a no. I'm not going to get sick. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, so you are having breakfast uh, when Mina comes in from um, that morning. At uh, the morning prayer at mass, and sits down to break her fast as well. Morning, guys. And you notice when you and Sylvie, you notice when you came down as well. Um, you're missing a member of the party. Yeah. As yeah, I'll, I'll can she... taste the chocolate and kind of go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I give it a miss. <laughs> <laughs> Why does no one like this? Uh, oh, I'll take it. it. I'll take it. But if you want it, you no, can no, have no. it. Like yeah, no. Oh, it's uh, chocolate been, is like it. It's been such a long time, but uh, is. Somebody sleeping in still? Or oh yeah, yeah. Why are they, are they feeling that? sick? Is she okay after you yesterday? Soon just sighs because I I don't know. She left this letter. Okay. You see, and she's giving letter to other members of the party oh, to right. read. Oh. Okay. Very interesting. Very intriguing. So well, what did they do for a job? I 
To be honest with you, I'm not sure myself. I'm sure oh, okay. that they have their reasons, and if they want to tell us, they will, and perhaps we should respect the privacy, and um, hopefully yeah, if you yeah, can right. communicate with them, I, I don't yep. know. I just have a very bad feeling about it, but there's, just nothing, just there's nothing I can do, I guess. She no. didn't say where she went. Mm. She, she, she does say not to worry. That. No, but mm. still, it's... Really is it her handwriting? Have you seen her handwriting? It, it is. You, yeah, no, it is definitely her handwriting. Okay. Yeah, she has a beautiful cursive yeah. script. Uh, mm. Look, I see no crumpling, no stains of blood. I'm sure it's fine. Well, that was my first thought, that maybe something happened to her in the night, but all her belongings were packed away. Okay. And it seems yeah. considered, so um, um, I suppose we can leave a note when we leave this place. Yeah, to see yeah, the best yeah. Way. And then she, she can find us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think it. Um, she's she seems like a lady of of some means. Yes, mm. so she she'll definitely be I able mean, to make her. Yeah, I know her family been. is wealthy. I oh. actually don't know that much about her. Thinking about it, mm. we yeah, but can be. We met. We met at like a party back. Back to Belgium. Oh, okay. I know she she has something to do with politics. Her oh, okay, mm. okay. But I've Maybe never, it's something I've never actually asked. Okay. So interesting. I'm not sure myself. Maybe but maybe she did not want to tell you. Yeah, or maybe maybe it's some political matter that she needs mm. to. Interesting. Yeah, I just have a bad feeling about it, but look. Uh, look, well, look we'll, we'll see. If she doesn't return in, in, in ages, we'll, we'll try to There's follow. not a lot that we can do. No. Um, well, since there's only four of us now, I mean, maybe we could help each other. I was still going to go to the forest and just uh, mm-hmm. see what helps my yes, band. I was too. hoping perhaps I could make some healing salve. Ah, oh, excellent. I have um, to make also. Like, uh, if. I do have healed healing magics, but mm. obviously my reserves do run out. So at least if I had some self, I would give some to you. And if you needed it, it would help you. Mm. Um, it's my compliments on your abilities yesterday. You really, uh, really yeah, saved. Well, at least I'm not. Yeah, no, she's amazing. Yeah. Oh, Very useful. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm sure all of us have skills. You were... Um, mm. Well, if you, you can make fire, if, you're if, very if, strong. If you guys want to go to the park, do you want me and um, Albert to tackle you? Oh, oh yeah, I think yes, if absolutely. I think if we run into trouble... Because they something running yeah. along. I mean, mm. you can look after yourself, forests, especially with of course. fire. Forests are not inherently dangerous, but there are fae. There could be things walking around, mm. yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. Well, I'll just finish up and then I will change. Mm. Then, you know. Yeah, your dresses. Oh, no, oh, I don't want to yes. get that. Sylvia is just wearing the same very kind of simple. It's it's well made, but it's it's worn like it lived mm. in. Mm. She's had it, clearly had it a while. Right. Um, like it's clean, but it's just you know yeah. she's had it for a while. Well, yeah, repaired, well worn. Yeah. And Gwen is wearing her kind of brownie green um, Victorian cycling uh, ensemble with the long culottes mm-hmm. that look like a skirt. It's her favorite. Right. Very practical clothes, practical. particularly for walking around. Yeah, 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 I yeah, mean, yeah. there is a train station near Cheville, but there wasn't a train connecting me off to Cheville, you know. Yeah. So yeah. that's why you had, had to walk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas you, 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 you had been, you had gotten the train from Paris down. You'd <laughs> We've been, been on the road <laughs> for a long ass time. <laughs> we'd, we'd have been mostly kind of cross country, yeah. Yet, so yeah. Yeah, and kind of prefers trousers anyway, so at least with like the longer culottes you can get away in civilized company with them. The other thing about the the other thing about this area, and there's a lot of people employed here as well, but there's quite there's a number of coal pits in the area as well. Mm -hmm. So there, as well as the brass mills employing a fair number of people, there would be quite a number of people in Cheviot and the other towns who are also employed working in the coal mines. So that's another reason Mm -hmm. why they have the train here because that allows them to transport the coal. To other major cities and other major sites of industry too mm-hmm. um, so yeah um, so it's really quite industrial well it's not majorly industrial it's still a fairly nice small town but mm. it there is a certain number of strong um growing industrial factors in the area mm-hmm. okay cool i go get dressed mm-hmm. and i just put on my uniform and um, um 
I bring assume people are them. leaving like most of your stuff here. You're just taking. This oh yeah, yeah, just I yeah, just bring all the essentials. Yeah. yeah. So you put We're on your. Going to the moon after all, right? Yeah. Go no. yeah. Um, so as I said, it's. <laughs> um, Albert. Albert will enjoy the friendship. Mm. How how long of a walk is it? Do we need to pack lunch? Um, mm-hmm. So mm. it's good question. It's approximately 15 kilometers north. So that okay. would be about maybe a three, three and hours. a half, three to three and a half mm. hour yeah, walk. Might be, might be, might be good. Might be good idea to just take some bread and cheese. Some yeah. Or something. Yeah. 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 I'm sure we can get that off you. And you know, if, yeah, if you get really hungry, the maybe there might be something you can eat. Too far ish, yeah. always. Yeah. Well, you ask, um, Marie, well, we'll ask you, yeah, Marie, 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 she gives you some, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, some baguette, um, a small, uh, mm-hmm. small block of cheese. More cigarettes. <laughs> she gives you, uh, no, so she gives you a baguette, a small block of cheese. Uh, it's January. Um, okay. Okay. And actually, you did notice when you came okay. out this morning, that there is fresh snow. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, nice. yeah. Very so, nice. I love that. that. So, there is fresh oh, snow. There's, um, it was clearly snowing last night, and there's about maybe 10 centimeters of snow, so it's not crazy deep. Mm. Well, it's not ideal. It's lovely and fresh shades, so. yeah. But you all have good, sturdy walking boots mm-hmm. anyway, so. Hopefully, there will be less snow in the woods, and we can still identify the plants. Well, if you walk down under the I trees, it should be fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you're going deeper. But it's lovely and fresh. Really I've, been, lovely. I've been thinking a lot. It's. The salamanders, where did, where did they come from? Why would they just move in? Mm. It seems it was very unusual. That's a question. That's a question. Because um, the mayor or the owner of the, of the grass mill, he says that they're not in the area. Oh, yeah. No, they it's tend to be. For them, isn't it? it tends, they tend to be in the south, like far into the south, maybe the Mediterranean. It's snowing today, so that's they must sure have they felt were, that. They, they, that's they, why they would the not have. They would. They they hate the colors. Yeah. So they're, they're, where was where could they have come from? Maybe someone brought them. Yeah, that's my. That, yeah, that, that, that is my thinking. Maybe they thought they'd be a nice pet, and they brought them <laughs> right. up, and then they yeah, realized, possibly. oh, they're not great, and mm. then they just let oh, them go, I and they felt that they. Getting cold. I think if that, something yeah. I think if that had happened, there would have been a lot more fires in the town. I think true. I'm but, thinking you know. business competitor. Mm. Oh. oh, I like the way you think. That's very possible. Well, well maybe we should talk to 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 Monsieur mm. Merlin if there is any competitor. Or an active here. Revenge, yeah. yeah, we could do mm. that after. We could yeah, talk. totally. Mm. Yes, yeah, so I'm eager to go to the woods and get. That's the thought, actually. Yeah. Hmm. Right. So we go. Terrible to... thing to do, though. I mean. Oh well, you know, people mm. in power will do. Yeah, but yeah, whatever I it know. Takes but to like, you know, you power. got you got workers killed and things. They make it's not really nice. People make decisions. They do not care no, about no. other people getting killed or hurt or maimed. No. Or could burned also, alive. Could also be like. I don't know, like a worker who didn't get paid for months. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, Possibly. but where did they get them from? That's a very good question. I'm sure there's a well, black market. I mean, there is for other things. Why not pay creatures? Yeah, that's true. I would be curious about the transportation of such a creature, mm-hmm. especially if ones are dangerous. Yeah. Mm. I have heard the dwarves in Jotunheim can make spectacular creations out of metals that might be able to contain them and the Arcadian But then maybe. must be somebody who's wealthy because that, mm. that must cost a lot of money. Yeah. True. So I maybe think business, a, business mm, competitor It would have to be something. bought because I think if there was a dwarf from Jotunheim we would see them. We would notice. Yeah, yeah. 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 Dwarf, I think they're quite distinctive. They are they? very distinctive with their jet black skin. They are very distinctive. Um, they are much taller than the Arcadian dwarves. Mm. Um, the Arcadian dwarves are often a meter at most in height, whereas the uh, Jotunheim dwarves are usually more like 1.5 plus meters in height. Still shorter than a human, but much taller and stronger. Except ten times. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my God. Short, short, shorter than most humans. <laughs> Except one of her absolute yeah, I felt so bad last time. I was like, oh, I'm really small. And I like, she's like, I'm still small. I was like, no. 
cute. Well, no. So cute. <laughs> a, a tiny a, little cutie. A dwarf from Jotunheim would most certainly stand out. Just we as love much, you, Tenta. Yeah, just as much as um, somebody from sub-Saharan Africa yeah. in this part yeah. of Europe yeah. would stand out. Because yeah. they similar really dark skin. Yeah. Even though there's like no link between the Jotunheim dwarfs in Africa. Right. It's just, they also happen to be black. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No one knows why. Interesting enough. Yeah, it's one of those funny things. So, you uh, get your stuff. Mm-hmm. You check for directions. Get a bit of snacks from the you, innkeeper. You got uh, some baguette and some cheese. Uh, Perfect. Always with the snacks. I'm trying to let it go. But still, Olaf, is, still Olaf, Olaf is still there. <laughs> so, and you, um, you start um, heading north. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, I mean, it's a fairly nice walk. Within about 10 minutes, you are of Chevy. Okay? And um, following the road along, okay, and the the Cher River, it kind of meanders and winds its way through the landscape as well. So, are you looking up to the dragons or anything? <laughs> give me an orange roll. Oh, jeez. It's not like that. Well, it's not that. Yeah, that. <laughs> this, this is uh, yeah I, 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 I think the dragons are real. <laughs> Um, Eleven. So wait, hang on. Eleven. How much is that in total? Um, you have an awareness of one, one to twelve. You do have keen eyes. I do have keen mm. eyes. So that's so a 13. plus two. Yeah, you don't see any dragons flying in the uh, air. <laughs> yeah, thankfully. Thankfully, I mean, because you know that would be noticeable. Would be, I think we would know pretty hurt. Stuff. Unless they're fairy dragons, they're, 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 they're gonna be fine. Oh, I hear they're very cute. I yeah. make very good pets. And um, you have seen Sylvia. You've seen fairy dragons. Yeah. they're about the size of a large cat. Yeah, I'm. I'm not afraid of the fairy dragons. I'm talking about the, about temperament. the big ones, mm-hmm. you know, with the fire and the poison. And... That's terrifying. Yeah, yeah. They so, yeah. are. You say that like you've seen one, but we of course have. Tatsal worms can be similar. Tatsal worms usually no more than about 2, 2.5 meters. Yep, but they're poisonous. Poison very poisonous. In fact, worse than the um, salamanders. Mm-hmm. Like Continent's a dangerous place. It's the. Well, this <laughs> is, this, it depends this, where you go. Yes, but like this is a common theme. Quite a lot of serpentine and reptilian fae are known for having poisonous breath mm-hmm. or poisonous skin. It's a common theme within fey creatures that they will, particularly those of a of, a of a reptile or serpent-like nature, very often seem to have poisonous breath. I wonder where that comes. From. Or poisonous mm-hmm. skin that if you touch them, it will poison you, like skin contact poison that you wouldn't even ingest. So yeah, it's a very common. Interesting. Which is mm. part of why. Things like, like a there's poisons, the or... reptiles in the rainforest and stuff, frog, but not around it? here, isn't it? Like, so I wonder how mm. that came. So, um, interesting. So, as I say, the area that you're traveling to is pure farmland. Okay, but like obviously noise. because we're in, it's January, mm-hmm. any livestock are in barns and sheds. Protect, like as I say, the fields are covered in snow. Okay. Um, it's quite lovely, isn't it? It it's, is very it's beautiful. beautiful. It's very picturesque. Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, so you are walking around, walking along the road for about two hours. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're still about five six kilometers from the uh, from roughly where you think the forest is. And as you're coming along the road, it's like Bend Road. You come around your spot off to the side. Um, a group of people standing in the field. All right, and um, there, it's it's a, it looks like a, probably a family. So there's like you can see a man in his forties, a woman in her forties. There's another man in his probably early twenties. Um, there's a there's a, another chap in his late teens, and, and a girl in her late teens, and then two younger kids that look like between twelve and fourteen as well. Mm-hmm. And it's still relatively early. It's probably about, well, when I say relatively, it's probably about 11 o'clock, half of them, okay? Because you just got up, you just had breakfast. Morning mass was at, was at 8 o'clock, okay? Um, but there is, 
there are like there's this cusp of trees in their field. They're all quite young. They all look to be saplings, probably a year and a half to two years old. Mm-hmm. There's no snow on any of the trees. Right. And you can see they're talking and they're gesturing. And one of them has an axe. And um, they're like having some sort of a conversation about it, pointing at the trees and pointing at the other fields around them. Which obviously, there are no trees in any of these other fields. It's mm-hmm. really weird. It's just like this random cost of about 20 or so trees. Mm-hmm. Um, in as I said, in the middle of this of this field. All right. Hmm. Um, fuck. I wave at them. I say morning. As you know, I actually so wave them, and uh, they stop. And the woman, she waves back. It's like bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Oh, Beautiful good. day, isn't it? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How do they look? Does it look concerned, worried, happy? I don't know. They look like they're having a. Not an argument, but yeah. they're having a discussion and a debate about these trees in hmm. the this middle field. Of the field. They, look, they, they look a little bit confused. They're like clearly trying to. It like you'd have to go up to them, but huh. there's like there's a lot of gesturing of like like as are they arguing or something? Are they planning something? Are they trying to figure out what to do now or what is it? Hmm. Should we? They go over oh, like is everything okay? And the man turns to like no. We woke up this morning and there appears to be a small orchard in our field that well, was not there last night. I don't think that you should cut them down. I think it might be fay related. Well, I'm assuming so. These trees were not here yesterday. Yeah, uh, so yes. I think that if you cut them down bad, things that will happen. Well, if I don't cut them down bad, things will happen because our family will stop because I need this field. Okay. okay. Let's, go. Well, let's walk up to them. So you just walk up, there's a, there's a gate, you can go through, you go into the field, and it's just, Bonjour, my name Bonjour. is uh, Louis, this is my wife, Rosalie, my son, Louis, Philippe, Marie, Pierre, Louise, and I like, just, in, just introduce you, you know mm-hmm. I was like, um, so yeah, we're the Levines, uh, this is our farm, um, we got up this morning, uh, my just... son, he spotted the... Like, why are we... I am just worried that if you cut them down, you might make whoever made these trees appear quite angry, and then bad things would happen to you. Well, maybe, but I'm quite angry. As I say, this is my farm. I need this field. No, of course, but you have to understand that to some of us here, trees are are very sacred. So my friends and I can actually um, help deal with this for you if you would give us the I'm opportunity. Looking at, I'm, I'm looking I'm at Gwen. Use I look at Gwen going, going like, I'm what? I'm going to use charm. <laughs> um, I can. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, you have a charm of one and the persuasion. Persuasion and conversationalist. Oh, you do have conversations as well. So, mm. yeah, you can add that. So, that's a plus three to the roll. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> oh, <my God>. I'm <laughs> standing there going, like, I don't understand I'm what's happening. Like, chaos goblin. Everything. Well, um, oh, sorry, 18. No, you, you oh, did I hit off you the, hit off the die. I thought I went, there, kind of no, went mad sorry. there. Oh, you, did, you hit it with your ass. Okay. You're not mad. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it was eight. So. There's the one. With all, but with all your respect, out, um, well, how could you, can you get the trees to get up and walk? Possibly. You know, some trees can do that, right? We happen to be experts in um, creatures of the forest. In fact, we were heading to the forest north of here to study the trees. You were heading to mm, the trunk, That right? part is true. Why? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's all true. So. Why yeah. would you go into the forest? Oh, I'm, I'm looking uh, for herbs to, to, mm. to make healing salve. Oh, you you're mean? a healer. And what do you mean? Well, I, I can heal. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So yeah. I was looking for the herbs in the forest, and maybe I could. I was thinking I could oh. make some healing salves. So you see, we can help. But I so, think so. So your terrible role with nothing to convince <laughs> or help. But now that Sylvia has said that she's a well, healer, we, now they're a bit more interested. We we did help in the brass mills yesterday. They had a fake problem as well. It was a very different problem. So how did you help with that one? Well, there was a salamander. Which What's a salamander? Quite full of sal- it's a little fey creature that lives well, in, were, in, were five, in fire. Oh. Uh, they live in fire. They're very, very, very poisonous. 
Um, so I have they help. couldn't work. Oh, we got rid of We killed rid them. Of them Aren't you worried that if you kill them, you would anger the Fae? Mm. He says to you, kind mm. of. These are a lot smaller than these twin and, trees. And they're they're animals. They're not mm. actually. They're not like. These are trees plants. Are sent, no trees are. Yeah, I know, but we don't TMT. know what were all the trees. I'm assuming it was some sort of a Fae thing. Mm. I think that it was a fairy, or several fairies. So maybe. Perhaps the thing to do would be because they come out at night. Maybe we could talk at least, to them. At least, if we help them solve the problem, the anger of the fae would be upon us. But hang on, what Give kind me a of charm roll. <laughs> <laughs> and what That's kind of good. trees are these? If they're like fruit bearing trees, uh, you might be on. able to harvest. So just give me a second here, Mina. We're gonna see how you see this with a charm roll. Oh! oh! No! oh! <laughs> so yeah, well, they're done. Like, <laughs> I, so yeah, you see um, his wife well, whispers to him, and you see, him, uh, and he points at you say like, "Well, actually, when you put it like that, this is actually an excellent idea." So, um, so Mina, you were like, you wanted to know well, what type of trees yeah. are like, You actually do a bushcraft. I do have bushcraft. Yeah. Yes, I do. Um, as does I, I believe Gwyn. So, oh, I might do our can. So, work. this is how shall this we, works. We so, together and try to find out what trees yes. are. You both have an awareness of one. This is you. So, you have a choice. You can give me one. So, this is how this works. You can each separately roll, adding either awareness or this is more of an intellect roll, but I'm going to be generous and let you use either and add your bushcraft. Or one of you could roll, and, and then the other gets the plus one from the other person's bushcraft. Yeah, yeah. I'll, we'll, so we'll stick our heads together. Yeah. And, so, uh, people. wait, okay. who's rolling? You're like the, the witchy so person. Green, well, I'll, we'll, uh, you, we'll discuss so it. I would no say pressure, I intellect roll, yes. Intellect, yeah. So, and you get a plus one for that, and then you get an additional plus one yeah. for Amina, so that's going to be a plus four plus to roll. Four. Oh my god, these dice were getting burnt. Sorry, that was a three. Oh, that was important. Yeah. Unfortunately, you're not. Why sure. do I roll so bad? Oh well, that's just every kidding. character. They're every just game. too long. But if there were, if there were fruit berries, you might be able to cook potentially. <laughs> yes, you you could potentially like harvest the fruits as well. Then. Yes. Can I do an arcane lore check to see if there's anything magical or mystical about the trees? That's Absolutely, yeah. I can actually do one too. Okay. Better. Um, That's better. Again. Better. 13, 14, 15, and 16. Much okay. better. You see? Do you want to give me your roll as well? Much better. Yeah, you're on you're on fire times at 19. Nice. Um, Good. So there is absolutely nothing arcane about these trees. Can I they do a are, or? You can give me failure if you want. Ooh. These are completely natural trees. Yeah. yeah, except for the fact except that they grow up. Except for the fact that they look like maybe one and a half to two year old saplings oh. that have just appeared in the middle of a field. Okay, no. okay I obviously can't. Well, and I'm right. Well, did you have a question for me? No, nope. I didn't. Is this I'm, intellect or? No. Yes, this awareness. is intellect. Hmm. No, this is intellect. Bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> and they were not there smart. yesterday. Hmm. Oh no! <laughs> that is two. Three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so they're not inherently magical themselves. If well, you, you don't believe so. I mean, yeah, you, you would. It's a, oh, it's you right. would need like to be definite of that. You mm. need to use actual magic yeah. to try and detect an arcane yeah. power. Uh, yeah. but, but they weren't there yesterday, right? No. Well, then there must hmm. be some shenanigans happening. Yeah. Yeah. Which means a uh, person with magic may have come through, must have come through the mm, area. Yeah. Maybe one of your people, like druids. Uh, can 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 they make something happen? Uh, you do think that there might be certain spells that might do this? Yeah, I Maybe think so, but I, I think that it takes longer than just a night. Yeah, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. I would imagine. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Oh, I think there is a spell that you can cast, but you need to cast it every day for several days. I have heard oh, of this. Okay. Over a month, yes. I, mm, uh, you can cast it, it. It takes more than a day. Mm. So. But you need to keep doing it, otherwise. And you haven't seen anybody like roaming around in your field? No. No new neighbors in the area? No. Well, then, probably if something. Yeah. 
I mean, <laughs> we're only about five kilometers from the haunted forest. Oh, okay. So, yeah, why is it yeah, like? Why, why is it? Why do you say it's haunted? Because it's haunted. The By ghosts? what? Ghosts, fae, devils. Oh, okay. The yeah. usual. All of the above. Okay. Well, probably, okay. probably yeah, just fae. Okay. Well, I mean, we know there is like there's fae in the forest. Yeah. There's ghosts in the forest. Ghosts of, of the of, dead. Yeah. Devils. There's packs of dire wolves that that are that are in the forest as well. Oh. Uh-huh. Well, that's a bit more yeah, well, they're going to be the ghosts. Maybe not yeah, too deep for you. Yeah, but generally, if you leave them alone and don't go near the young, it's... Right. Depends if they're, if they're hungry. I mean, it is yeah, hungry. Yeah, we do occasionally lose a cow. Oh. Yeah. Because those creatures can take down a cow. Yeah, they they're, would. They're, they're, they like, they're, is- like... You see, a, you like it's one like wolves are dangerous, but when you've got a wolf that's nearly a hundred kilograms, yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and they need yeah. to eat, obviously, yeah. The mm. only thing, if this is, I do think that this, this is the work of fae, but if it is a fairy, and I think it was, that it might be a fairy, yeah, uh, they come out at night, so, so it's we, morning. Time yes. Now. Do you? We, I mean, if you're helping, you could stay. Yes. Yeah, we could go for it and come back. Could also be a W I T C H. But oh, okay, no, in the yeah. Area. Um, so yeah, I think it would be worth staying and seeing. Stay here, yeah. maybe go to yeah. the forest and go like, go for it. Come back for the evening. Mm. Yeah, yeah. If, you could, yeah. If you could go and come back, what do you say to that? Or mm-hmm. would yeah. you like us to stay for? It's just it would, would be the whole. The whole day is exactly. Area. It's still morning, so we should have enough time to go and forage a little bit. Come back for for the um, evening. This thing is, it'll take three hours to get back. But it'll be oh, well, these hour. are approximately an hour ish from the forest. Yeah. Okay, so three hours to get back. So if we're, I'm thinking if we're back here by like six, that'll give us loads of time. Oh, yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Is there like a farm nearby or something? There is a field, but like. Well, yeah, their farmhouse, farm you saw their, their farmhouse farm. is like, mm. I don't know, seven, eight hundred meters away. So, if we're helping you, could we stay in your house for the night? Oh, of course, yes, of course. Oh, thank that. you. That's yes. very gracious. Also, before we go to the forest, I know nothing about herbs and trees. I did study science, but that's about it. Can mm. someone who has knowledge look at the trees and identify the trees and see if they're native to the area? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we were trying to, uh, like, those trees. Um, yeah, we were they, trying to. So, the, the, so <laughs> no, the, um, one, the, um, the sword, the eldest sword, <laughs> even though he's looking at him, he's like, and he's pointing at something, he's like, well, it's kind of hard to tell because... So, so young. They're so young. Those ones there are definitely apple trees. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. See? And they all look like, none of them look exotic. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They're, so they're definitely like apple. Yeah. <laughs> they're definitely <laughs> apple trees. Okay, so. And I think they could be plum trees. Huh. Well, see, if they're fruit trees, you could potentially maybe if you if you if we talk to them, you might be able to harvest those. Well, the fruit could be magical. I wouldn't eat it for no, the moment. No, that's what I'm saying. Not for the moment there because they're fruit. too young at the so moment anyway. Too young, but, yeah. But yeah. you could potentially but harvest those. Mm-hmm. How but about we go to the forest, we collect some yeah. herbs, yeah. and if we are unsuccessful, then we still yes. come back anyway. If anyone, if anyone knows, like, fey or... Mm-hmm. Are there any creatures that, like, associated nope. with fruit or something like that? I don't know. Oh, well, are magical apples. Let's see. Yeah, they're, yeah. yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right. Yeah. I'm sure. But I'm, I'm, I'm not dealing like, with magical apples again. Yeah, those, <laughs> those trees, they're not like I taking do... the whole field, do they? There's about 20 of them or so. Oh, right, yeah. They oh, I got a natural 20. So Woo! Like yeah, with that roll, you would know that. Better. So, um, <laughs> yeah, this could have been a fairy, but it's much more likely that if that this was done by a uh, maybe a dryad, may or uh, well, if you were in, if you were further east into Germany, uh, and most likely, it. but um, tree gnomes, tree oh. gnomes could definitely, tree gnomes could definitely do this okay. without okay. question. Tree yeah. gnomes could easily um, have the magics to cause um, trees to grow overnight. Boy, oh. so you're telling like, us this, yeah. yeah? Like you actually do know that. Um, in certain parts of, of of 
the Western German countries, um, not in the Black Forest itself, but in some of the other forests. Black Forest is, is in Arcadia. Arcadia. <laughs> but you do actually know that certain companies actually harvest lumber from forests and they work in relationship with the tree gnomes in kind of a cyclical fashion that they will oh, be, yeah, yeah. they'll harvest the spot, move on, the tree gnomes come in, replenish those trees, and it's a very sustainable and way. Did that they, they grow are, fast because they grow faster with the tree gnomes? The tree gnomes will essentially replace the trees that were harvested. Nice. Mm. Um, so, okay. That works so, really so, well. So, so, so at least we know that it's okay for, for people to like cut those trees. Yeah. Yeah. In, in, well, I mean, yet again, if tree, it is tree, tree gnomes, gnomes being an mm. elemental type yeah. of fae, their, their behaviors can be very, very... They can, they They're vary. Yeah. Them, you know? Some tree gnomes will work very harmoniously with humans. Other tree gnomes will be fiercely territorial. Uh -huh. That tends to be more the case in the more ancient and primordial forests. But now that you've now that you've now that you've had your moment of inspiration, with this is not, you have actually heard on occasion of tree gnomes doing this, where they just randomly decide. Oh, we're going to start a new forest in a, in a field somewhere. Yeah. And this does create conflict with the farmers. Of course. Mm. And, you know, they Are drop... tree gnomes not nocturnal? No. Oh, okay. Great. Oh. Could that be the case that something drove them away from the forest? Yeah. Well, because why Why would they... Looking mean, around, are we seeing any tree? Give me an awareness roll. That is an oldish kind of forest, isn't it? It, it is the, quite the, ancient. The one that mm. is close by. Uh... Sorry, what was it? Awareness. Awareness. Mm -hmm. So that's 16. Is that, have you added all your modifiers there? Yeah. Yep. Yep. and everything. Yeah. Yep. I rolled a 14, which isn't terrible. And I'm only level mm. 2, so, you know. Can I kind of roll awareness as well? Of course, course you can. Wish. I know they're very difficult oh, to spot, aren't they? Terrible things. roll. Well, <laughs> mine was one. <laughs> uh -oh. What did you roll? Well, well, what did you say you rolled? Uh, I got a 16. <laughs> so, looking up, you do actually just barely, and you're pretty sure the only reason you spot this is because of your time spent training in the woods with Woodland Fay. Yeah. You spot there's a couple of tree arms almost perfectly camouflaged into the somewhat sparse canopy of this area. Okay, I'm gonna. And you see them looking down at you with those eyes that look like they're made of sparkling pieces of coal. These strange creatures that look like somebody crudely carved a children's toy from a lump of wood to look like an ugly, scowling old man with like beards of moss and clothing of moss. So Sylvia is going to look at one of the tree gnomes and she's just going to say, um, borrowing from Bronze old playbook, Vivian, absolutely no disrespect. But <laughs> so before but... you go any further, I will remind you, and you would know this, tree gnomes are of a quite limited intelligence. Oh, right. yeah. okay. okay. Um, no one is even all that certain. The how smart tree gnomes are oh, okay. like in that they um i don't want to have to kill them though like we well, might not have to you may not have to but my point them. is rather that um like no. tree gnomes are for example they are a type of non-verbal thing oh, yeah. and if you use spells such as spells to speak with plants you can communicate with them I don't think I have but them. um it's kind of no one's no no one's quite sure how like tree gnomes are similar to rock gnomes in that they don't speak. They are a very they are an elemental fey type, and um, mm -hmm. no one's quite sure like of how they like. They're certainly more intelligent than your average animal, but at the same time, ravens are animals, and those things are really fucking yeah, smart. Yeah. So you know, it's like. So we think it's tree gnomes, shall we just to make no, we sure? Know they're tree gnomes. Yeah, mm. but like, shall we just make sure like, that there's not some fairies included as well? With that, as I said, with that not 20 year old, you're like, okay. yeah, this is not the there kind of thing that a uh, fairy would do. Well, then in that case, there shouldn't be an issue cutting it, cutting it down, right? Mm. 
you say might have decided that this is their land now, this is very territorial, this is here to protect us, and might attack us. So, well, then, you know, so maybe no. we'll have an argument with them. Well, no. we, we'll I, when, when you say that, that the, the farmer, Louise, says, well, I mean, in fairness, they're made of trees. She has a big axe. I would rather well, it's not, not really made for trees, but like, I mean, I they think, are made of trees. <laughs> I would rather not start bits of fighting if you don't mm, yeah. have to. Mm. So I'm gonna. Okay. And you have a constant source of wood. I mean, worse comes to worse. Well, but again, about has, has any have any of the local farmers been making incursions into the forest that no, may have caused them generally to leave? Generally, don't go near there, like because well, it's. Where do you get your wood from? We use coal oh, for our fires. Fair yeah, enough, so. we use coal for our fires. We yeah. use people used to traditionally harvest from the forest, like uh-huh. you cut from the edges of. Mm-hmm. Not going in too deep, of course, because mm-hmm. it's haunted. Um, but when the po- coal pits are discovered in this area, over the last I don't know fifty years or so, we started using coal. Perhaps something has moved into the forest, which has encouraged these tree gnomes to mm, move. Yeah, that could be too. I mean, the forest is huge. It's like well, over 100 kilometers across. Mm. All right. Well, Maybe they just decided I'm, we want to expand the forest. I'm good. Well, they're not The forest is like about five kilometers from here, so... So they're not expanding it. They're just growing in around. They're just growing in they're just, um, But Maybe they could join up. Like, um, <laughs> Sylvia is going to kind of make a like, contact with one of the um like as soon as a tree gnome realizes you spot her and it's been locked eyes at you and has not moved its gaze okay i am going <laughs> to will they understand lesser tele- telepathy you I'm don't trying. know okay you would have to try i'm going to put a hand or i'm going to kind of brush away some snow um Revealing grass or the yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna put my hand down, and I'm going to make a little kind of clump of flowers grow. Using oh. nature grass. Using nature grass. Yeah, sure. It's just a camp, camp trip. So. Oh, no, you, you can easily do that. Get some snow. Um, snow drops would be appropriate. Yeah. Okay. Snow drops. Let's go. Perfect. Yeah. <gasps> Sylvia, that's gorgeous. It's very pretty. Mm. Oh, it's just a little. But I'm looking at the. I'm thinking peaceful. They're mm. looking at you. Flowers. They're not moving. They have these stoic, literally wooden faces. Uh, hmm. Okay, let me see if I can communicate with them. So I'm going to try lesser telepathy, if I can mm-hmm. say that word. And I'm just going <laughs> to say, um, can you please leave? This land is not yours. Let's see what happens. You're out. Oh my god. Well, what are you rolling? Um, no, well, wait, to let the yeah, should actually work. Is a spell. Okay, yeah. My so bad. now remember the thing, work. so the thing with lesser telepathy, it's a cantrip, it's a minor action. Mm-hmm. Ranger Town Mayor is glided by that's fine. Yeah, it's it's a fine. simple spell, yeah. it requires no mana, but all you can do is you send a short, simple message. Mm-hmm. So the number of words cannot exceed your level plus your magic. So that's seven. Get wait, out. haven't what's your magic? Is it's three. three. So you can send a message of up to five words. Get the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> please, five words. <laughs> Get the fuck out, please. <laughs> okay, basically that, but different. So what no, are you sir. saying? Uh, <laughs> without the fuck. Uh, please leave this land. Please no. leave this land. So that works. Play. You should say yeah. play. Give me a charm roll. Uh, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, that's not bad. Good win. Yeah. You're a fucking weirdo, but you're so nice. <laughs> <laughs> that I am. That I am. <laughs> a very personable weirdo. Okay. So... You see the tree now that was pointed out to my Sylvia. You're like, I would not have spotted this thing. Mm. It almost, it, it's it's woody body Camouflage. almost perfectly blends into the no, woody textures of the bark. Okay, you're actually really impressed that Sylvia yeah. spotted this thing. Yeah. Okay, really um, you see it slowly. Like head first upside down, crawling down like a squirrel would. Mm. Um, the tree <laughs> coming down okay onto the ground. 
and then stands up looking at you Hello. and then you see movement as after one of these six oh of them now on the ground oh, oh Jesus oh, Christ. Christ. oh god what are we doing Sylvie what are we doing and it tilts its head to the side and they all turn and they start bounding northward okay oh, so towards the forest in the general direction of the forest oh, of Tronca I think I made them leave okay okay and the family are kind of looking, Shaz, like, they look at you and they're like, that how, was great. How did you do that? I told you, trees are very sacred and some people can communicate with them. I told you this from the start. And, you know, here we are now. I guess this land is yours. They're gone and, so that's all you know, hopefully they won't come back. Yeah. Okay. So Maybe they just had a change of heart. I think um, that is safe. Cool, cut some I think so, yeah. Uh, and you so, have uh, you have some some wood as well. Isn't that brilliant? Just oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. Philippe, and he, go get from the from the back of it. Okay, that way. And he's like, you see the this is the 18, 17, 18 year old. Mm-hmm. He turns and running into the house towards the direction of the house. Right. He's gone. He shoots off. He's like 17, 18. He spins off even in the southeast from doesn't side. And they're all looking at her, smiling, they're really happy now. Like, this is yeah, that, is, that, that turned out very well, actually. Yeah, um, yeah. And then a minute later, you see him running back. He's got a bottle in his hands. <gasps> and he, oh, he hands it to his dad. And his dad goes, this is all I have. It's so small. Oh, and, is, and he hands oh, you a bottle of wine. Oh, no, I can't possibly take this. I could No, 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 please. It's, it's, it's something small. Just thank you. It's a simple oh, bottle of wine, well, please. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. That is very kind. It's a fairly standard bottle of wine. This is not a fine vintage. It's no, it's a perfect town. That is that is very generous. Thank you so much. Okay, well, then shall we? I suppose we'll head off. Well, I guess if that happens again, you just ask the tree gnomes to leave. Very nicely. Very nicely. Then you have some more wood. But she didn't even ask. I did it with magic. Oh, see, so we don't have magic. None of us have any favour. No, favors. I was saying, well, I well, we don't have magic. I but... don't have any favour. Oh, no, I'm human. What? What? But maybe Actually, he can back. see that Gwen and Sylvia... Oh, he can recognise the only fate which <laughs> in the group green is me. Oh, yeah. green hair. Are you? No, Justine oh, no. is also human. human. Oh, okay. You have three human humans and one fate of human. <laughs> Two? In this group right oh, now. Oh, in this group yeah. right now. In this group oh, yeah. right now. Yeah. yeah. All right. Maybe if you ask them, then they might leave as well. Okay. Well, we do appreciate the help. Well, thank you. No, no, we're, we're happy well, to help. There's nothing, really. And to be honest, Gwyn kind of has this weird feeling that, like, that was too easy. But anyway, yeah. I'm not going to say anything well, and I'll just... Yeah. So, you just leave. Off, I guess. You continue mm. trekking through the snow in the direction of the forest. I sense getting drunk in the middle of the forest. So, um... Excellent. You... <laughs> <Beer> jacket. <laughs> when you... After about yeah. 40 minutes or 45 minutes, you do see off in the distance just the edge of this forest. There's mm-hmm. like vast oak trees. Oh. And these are... These are old. These trees are like hundreds of years old. Now, you do know, you've been told that a couple of hundred years ago, hundred years ago, that there was a, a, a bishop ordered that they plant oaks in this area around so there was already this primeval forest here it was much smaller than it obviously had been in centuries past it had been slowly cut away and then this bishop who was in the court of louis the 14th so this would have been in the he was this would have been somewhere in the 17th or early 18th century oh. he ordered this bishop uh, uh, Jean Baptiste Cover, mm-hmm. he ordered plant. We're going to plant a bunch of oak trees oh, nice. to supply the navy. Mm. I love that. Okay. Do people? Apologies. I said I, I said bishop. I meant to say minister. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sorry, uh, minister Jean Baptiste Cover. So, um, but the thing is that these trees, they're maybe not quite ready yet. They're uh-huh. like over a hundred years old, uh-huh. and they probably need a bit more time. But already, like navies in Europe have started making ironclad ships mm-hmm. they st- in the last t- t- 10 20 years or so yeah. they've been starting to experiment with designing of ironclads so in it's kind of funny in that these hundreds of oak trees were planted 
and they're probably, for a navy they're not necessarily they're, for a navy that's okay. never going to need them because technology has advanced mm. to the point where we're now at using ironclads so yeah is that like very common knowledge that that's what happened oh like, everybody knows this happened like this right, is like okay. government okay. said we're planting these oak trees yeah. You're not allowed to chop them yeah. down. If you do, you will go to jail because these oak trees are for the Navy. Because yeah. right, if they yeah, hadn't yeah. said that, all the farmers would have been like, yeah, yeah, the locals one. are. Yeah. We <laughs> will just, yeah, yeah, so yeah. they were like, no, 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 no. This was now part of a reserve, a yeah, national yeah, yeah. reserve. And everybody knew you do not cut these trees mm-hmm. down. But this is foreigner, so it wouldn't necessarily be aware that that's what happened. Use my use some of uh, when you were asking yesterday about the forest. Use would have been. He would have been told. Okay, cool, yeah. cool, cool. Yeah. cool. So, um, so yeah, as I say, it's quite this quite vast forest, and you do see you can see the sprinkling of snow on like yeah. obviously it's an oak forest, so the branches are all bare. It's January, mm-hmm. you know. So the branches are all bare. Um, um, yes. Beautiful. Now, is this not more majestic than any it's very church? Pretty, like, than mm. It's very pretty. Mm. It's very, very pretty. Do you agree? Mm. So, we're heading into the forest. Yay. You head into the forest. Yeah. And you, as soon as you enter it, you enter into that liminal kind of darkness mm. that exists in forests. Oh, um, it's brighter than it would be if it was dew. Because the canopy is bare. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But even with a bare canopy, the interwoven branches are still filtering yeah. out much of the sunlight. So what you're getting is these dappled streaks of sunlight that light the oh, canopy okay. floor. And it is quite lovely. Mm-hmm. It's and it has that quiet stillness of a very old forest. Nice. So Well, um, I want to look around and do a bit of foraging. Mm-hmm. I mean, we could light a fire and heat up the wine uh, while we're searching. You could, if you want, and light a fire in the forest. I would rather not use the fire. I don't do... think that, I don't know, do you think if that we piss something we are, off? If we are lighting a fire to heat the wine, but also foraging, are you saying we leave the fire unattended? Um, oh, no, well, I assume only you and I are going foraging. Well, it was, is the group, is everybody traveling together or are we splitting the party? I would, well, well if you are, no, no, if you are going, like, you know, stay in the area, like, don't go too far. I think that it's best to be stick together. Uh, it seems to have served us well thus far. I mean, mm-hmm. we're going to have a lunch break anyway. Yeah. So we can find, like, a nice clearing and light a fire. Before you find a clearing, we light a fire, we heat the wine. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So... Yeah, um, I'd rather not light the fire right under a tree. Something like that. No, no, yeah, so, right. but if you find a clearing, that's a good thing. Mm. Regarding yeah. our foraging roles. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, um, you're both foraging, yes? yes. All right. So here's the thing. So is here, it... here, 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 <laughs> here, here, we fun. Go. here we go. Here is the thing. <laughs> this is a bush. Craft role. Oh, it's not herbalism. Mm-hmm. This is a bushcraft role. Uh-huh. You have a choice. You can use awareness or intellect, and you can also add your herbalism training skill to the modifier. Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't have bushcraft. However, Gwyn yeah, does. I do. So I can. I've so you could assist Gwyn. I have herbalism to plus two. Yeah, so. you do. So you could assist Gwyn with your plus two herbalism. Mm-hmm. On top of Gwyn's bushcraft role, and mm-hmm. you get to use either your awareness of one or your intellect of two. Oh, intellect. So you could have your intellect plus your bushcraft as yeah. a base plus three modifier mm-hmm. with an additional plus two on top of that because you're getting Sylvia's out. Because Sylvia's good at herbalism. Okay. You've got, uh, you, you have won. a basic beginner training yeah. in herbalism. Hers is a more intermediate. Okay. So that would be a plus five to your role. And what sort of stuff can we forage for and make? Well, that will actually Depends depend on, on your role. Mm. Okay. Can we make poison? Do that question. <laughs> <laughs> this, um, have a question. This <laughs> will <laughs> depend. <laughs> this will depend on your okay. role. So give me your role first. Okay. Am I rolling a D? Actually, I'm gonna be generous. You're gonna give me three roles, Ooh. and it will be the um, adding your plus five each time. Okay. And it will be the average of the three roles will determine. Yeah. Am okay. I rolling a D twenty? Oh, of course. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's a Always. standard ability test. 14. Plus 5 is 19. 18. 
18. Plus 5 is 23. And, and a 9. Plus 5 is 14. So that's 19 plus 23 is 42. Plus what was that last and one? And 9. Plus 5 is 14. So 32 plus 14 is 46 divided by 3 is 15. That's, 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 good. Good. that's not terrible. That's that's My good. math is correct there, isn't it? 46. Yes. 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 Three, 19 plus 23. 315. 19 plus 23. Well, that does seem off. 19 and a 23 and then a 15 is an average. That does seem off. 19 plus 23. Oh, sorry. That was 42. Sorry, it's 57 divided by 3. Apologies. 57 is 19. 19, yes. Apologies. 19? That's, that's, even a 15 was good, but 19 is pretty really good. That's really good. Okay. Good. Right. So what do we get for So, the are you openly... Are you being very open in what you're foraging <laughs> for? Because I'm looking for healing plants. Sylvie is looking for yeah. healing plants to use to make a healing salve. Yeah. Can I say I'm also looking for like anything vaguely edible as well that we could maybe just like... Oh, we can add that to the roll. That's a, yeah. Like, uh, uh, just, yeah, yeah, a bushcraft... Yeah, yeah. Oh, if you're a, looking for yeah. edible stuff, I have bushcraft. A bush, I know I'm edible a bushcraft. I wouldn't I know the healing I don't herbs. trust you after Strad. <laughs> so anyway... <laughs> Um, a bushcraft roll to forage for foods is a target number of like um, at, okay at this time of the year because it's January yeah, yeah, you know, it would yeah, be a target much, number of 15 yeah. Yeah. Uh, in the yeah. summer it would be like a 12 yeah. you know but it's, it's January there's not as much edible food oh, of course but um, so if you want to give me a separate bushcraft roll while they're doing that you can go for food no, yeah, yeah, only rolled a nine, so that's a ten. Yeah, yeah. unfortunately, you're, yeah, it's uh, it's a yeah. set. It's been done. But like, I'm maybe so, looking for for healing stuff. Absolutely. But if I find something, we're like, oh, this so is. So with that nineteen, you will certainly you have more than enough to make. We will say you have enough materials to make three separate mm. healing salve ointments and a, and a standard healing salve is five doses so you, with that 19 you have enough you, you will be able to forage enough to make three separate ointments of healing salve okay okay cool cool or four herbal poultices mm-hmm. but the herbal poultices are not magical they only i'll take the salves what if we didn't want to make healing salves? So, what go if we wanted to make regardless with that roll, Sylvia will certainly get enough to make at least one healing salve. Okay. Are you being quite open in the type of only, herbs and plants you are looking yes. for? But only Sylvia would know that I'm looking for, like, Belladonna instead of whatever he, you know, so, like only if you weren't you, aware. You so know. with that nineteen, that was my brain went you, straight to night shape as well. And with like, that nineteen, Fox Club, you <laughs> could make any range of potions. Sorry, not potions, poisons from something that would cause somebody to have a mild upset to nausea to mm. a strong sedative to something that would weaken somebody mm. for up to several days to bedridden or you could use it to make a potion that would kill somebody with a fortitude score of one. Jesus. Huh. I'll go for last one, please. <laughs> so, yeah, you realize, <laughs> as you, as you the two of you are working together, you're realizing that, okay, you know your herbs slightly better than, than Gwyn, but Gwyn just seems to be more comfortable in the outdoors of figuring out where to look for the stuff. Yeah, yeah. You're recognizing plants quicker than her, and in doing so, you recognize that while you're collecting plants and herbs that you will use to make a healing salve that could yeah. be given as part of a first aid treatment to heal somebody what Gwyn is collecting if properly refined is something that could possibly kill a person okay <laughs> just going to look at Gwen and just going are you Expecting us to run into any trouble? It's always good to be prepared. For yeah, any occasion. That's why I'm looking at healing herbs. Oh, yeah, and I mean, that's incredibly helpful, but you know, it's all medicine of one form or another, depending on how you look at things. I suppose. 
Do we hear this conversation? Use are off trying to find mushrooms. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not cash. I'm not trying to find mushrooms. What? Well, well, edible mushrooms, not psychotropic. <laughs> Oh, how do we know? Oh gosh! Yeah. <laughs> Push crap. Tomato crap. Try and feed them to you. You're <laughs> These ones are great. <laughs> They're really high protein. Like so, as you are having this conversation, you look around and you realize the trail is gone. Oh no! There was a clear trail. You hadn't gone that far into the woods. Only a couple of hundred meters. Mm-hmm. You can see your friends. Okay, we can see them. You aren't separated. Okay. But the trail that you've been traveling on is completely disappeared, as if the very trees themselves have moved in okay. and okay. closed that path. Okay. You cannot see the edge of the forest. I think I would just grab Sylvie's arm when we realize. Mm-hmm. And I would say we need to get a room together. Is the rustling in the trees. Oh. And that's a perfect place to pause in her story. Apparently trapped in a forest had been warned as haunted. At the very least, the trees seem to be alive and in more ways than one. Are our party lost forever or will they find their way out? Join us next time to find out. If you enjoyed this adventure and like to know more about the world of Feyre, please be sure to follow us on social media. We're very active on Twitter while it's still here, at Feyre. We're also on TikTok at Fay underscore earth and we've also created accounts on mastodon and on hive all at Fay earth though i'm an android user so currently we're not that active on hive but we are on social so please be following us the other really great place to find us is on itch at Fay hyphen earth.itch.io we have a couple of really great products out on itch all free to download um, a lore primer and a couple of fun one shots and our, we are currently working on our explorer's guide to fair earth this will be a very comprehensive 200 plus page pdf core rule book with all the mechanics of the game and everything that you need to play up to 10th level definitely worth checking out when it is out which will be soon probably early december apart from that join us next time talk to you soon